USA Radio News with Chris Barnes. Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden's just released his health care plan, seen as an expansion of Obamacare that would provide a public option for people to buy into. I believe we have to protect and build on Obamacare. That's why I proposed adding a public option to Obamacare as the best way to lower costs and cover everyone. Biden's plan is not a Medicare for all system like those promoted by several of his rival Democratic candidates. Ice raids are still expected to happen this week in some U.S. cities, but they seem to have fizzled yesterday when they were expected to start in earnest. Advocates for immigrants say a few people were rounded up, but that seemed to be routine activity for immigration and customs enforcement agents. Agents are supposed to be focusing on illegal immigrants who've already been sent final orders of removal. This is USA Radio News. Amazon Prime Day is here. It's a two-day event this year, during which time Amazon customers will get some big, big deals. But some Amazon workers at a fulfillment center in Minnesota are walking out today, saying things need to be changed for them. They want to convert more attempts to full-time workers, and they want Amazon to ease up on productivity quotas, which this worker says they can't keep up with. I started out with a really large group of about 70 workers, and I think there are only about five of us left. And that was a year and seven months ago. Barry's time as a hurricane and even a tropical storm is over, but forecasters still warn of possible severe flooding in the lower Mississippi and Ohio valleys through the end of this week because of the tropical depression. Currently centered over Arkansas, it is spreading rain across parts of Mississippi and still Louisiana as well. Remember, you can find us online. We're at usaradio.com. This is USA Radio News. New York utility company Con Edison is saying that it could take weeks to find out the cause of the massive power outage that left about 72,000 customers in the dark on Saturday night. The utility had crews out on Sunday investigating, but there's been no word of a possible cause at this point, except that a transformer exploded and burned. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio saying it was not the result of an act of terrorism, excessive electrical use, or a cyber attack. Governor Andrew Cuomo is ordering a state agency to conduct an independent investigation into the cause of the outage, saying such outages in one of the world's largest cities cannot be allowed to happen again. A New Jersey police officer who was lucky to be alive in April is now lucky to not be in jail. Matthew Ellery was on duty behind the wheel of his police vehicle when he shot heroin and almost died of an overdose. As part of a plea deal, Ellery will now avoid jail time but has to remain clean for five years or face a five-year prison sentence. The investigation into the overdose coincides with the resignations of the police chief and a captain. And there's a winner in the $198 million Powerball jackpot reportedly after a ticket was sold in the state of Tennessee. Find us online anytime at usaradio.com. For USA Radio News, I'm Chris Barnes.